Wait, wait, wait. Dog was missing with that. Wait. Try it. There we go. One, two, three. Oh, cool. Awesome. Um, I thought you were going to start rapping there. Never mind. What's up? You can't dance, you can't take them all. This is the real MC rapping. One, two, three. <laughs> Show. Oh, cool. There we go. Lockdown drinks. So, um, thank you so much to Albi and Jake for inviting me over here. Um, to be quite honest and quite frankly, I didn't actually really think that this book was going to do quite well at the time, and that's probably part of the reason why. Thank you, thank you. Um, that's part of the reason why I priced it at 30 rand. I wish I would have priced it at 150. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish I had um, but it was a really cool time, to be honest. Um, I've, and how it came about, right? I was, I just, I read out books basically, and I was like, yo, okay, cool, I'm gonna brew myself ginger beer. Because we can't go out and go and buy alcohol at all. Then I posted a book, um, I posted that on, on social media as a joke. But a bunch of my friends were like, yo, send us recipes, we will pay you for this stuff. And I was like, this is a good idea. Um, next slide. <laughs> Next slide. Yeah, as we just said right now, I mean, it's all because of like the COVID-19 um, and its effects. Um, I mean, I mean, COVID is actually a serious virus, and we actually should take it quite serious. Um, if you do know me, I like joking about it. Like, what the heck? It's not going to affect us, um, you know, because we have antibodies by now. Um, and then the fog came. And then the fog came, right? <laughs> My word. <laughs> So, um, yeah, next slide afterwards. And then because of that, I mean, of its effects that it has on us as well, I mean, the National Disaster Act came upon us, basically. Um, some of us didn't expect it, some of us did expect it. Um, for me, it was like a huge shock. It was, like, it was a very interesting time, to be honest. I think we're going to actually talk a lot about it in years to come. There's going to be a lot of books, actually, about this era that we actually are living through because we are actually are writing history to be honest um, right now. Um, so when the disaster act came about, this next slide as well, over there. Um, yeah, the effects of the hard lockdown because what happens when you are at home and you're working at home, what happens? You eat more and you drink more. <laughs> That's very true, right? And we gain a bit more weight as well. <laughs> So people ran out of booze, people ran out of cigarettes, um, and these items, were, because they were all, all declared as not essential, um, in fact. So let's go to the next slide as well. Um, yeah, so the effects was this. What was happening? You know? Uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly. Um, people started brewing and smuggling cigarettes. I mean, we also have, you know, the take or leave it market. You know, the guys who serve you like a freaking, I don't know, man, Douglas Green for, that will cost you like 45 rand and will charge you 200 rand for that. And you're like, yeah, I actually want my wine. Like, you gotta take it or you leave it right now, man. <laughs> Do you want this wine or not? You know? So that market was doing quite well during that time. Um, there was a huge shortage of yeast as well. I don't know if you went to your supermarkets basically during that time. Um, yeast was in huge, like baker's yeast as well as you know, brewer's yeast was in a huge shortage. There was a shortage of ginger as well, there was a huge shortage as well of pineapples. And because of that, there was a huge shortage of yeast, there was a huge shortage of marmite. Yeah, that part. Marmite. <laughs> you know? uh, I actually like marmite, and it's so weird. Yeah, when people as well, my man. Yeah. <laughs> It's so weird because my cousin, he's a huge smoker and he was buying Paul more. Like, like pre-lockdown, he used to distance brand so hard, but during lockdown, the hard lockdown, he actually was like, like this is actually a decent cigarette, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> it's a decent cigarette. So it was amazing, it was amazing to see what, it was amazing to see what the lockdown, you know, did and how it actually brought people to, um, to come to where they were. Um, and then if you look at the, this picture over there, basically, I mean, I think it was Spa, actually. Spa is very smart in like how they put the pineapples, and they put the yeast, and they put the sugar right there. 
You look at that, like, that's clever, that's brilliant marketing, that's like brilliant brand position. Like, yo, listen, we know you want this, we're gonna put it like this way, and we're gonna price it in a way that works for you people. You know? If, if I was in retail, I would definitely do that at that time. Exactly. <laughs> the, uh, next slide as well. Oh, so yeah, by the way, I encourage a lot of you know, into action as well. So you have questions, I don't mind you raising your hand and asking me a question as I'm speaking here, by the way. And um, just also during the lockdown, some of the effects that we saw is that there were also some illegal activities and also some very unfortunate events that happened. I mean, um, it's not illegal to brew at home, but there's a certain amount of alcohol that you can brew at home, right? Um, and there were certain people who were brewing and selling during that time, especially in the townships and the rural areas as well. There was a lot of hard, you know, police activity. In the summers that was happening too, people were brewing and distilling and selling. I'm not going to mention names. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was so smart, to be honest. If I had a still, I wish I had a still at that time, because I was going to distill a lot of vodka and mark it up like 600 rand a bottle, take or leave it style, you know? Um, and there also other very unfortunate events. I mean, there were a few people who did pass away from, you know, like very, you know, unsafe manners, yeah unsafe manners of like how they would brew and how they would consume the alcohol as well. I suspect they actually added something else or something else was added to it, you know, because the most thing that could happen to you, you could be completely drunk. Sanitizer, yeah. People were drinking sanitizer, people were also drinking methanol as well. Oh, the battery Hello? There we go. Cool. Yeah, so I suspect people were like you know, adding other stuff as well because you know, brewing and fermentation is a natural process. Um, I think you should change the battery It's called uh, too much talking, not much drinking. <laughs> Small crowd. 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 Small crow